Hello friends, welcome to today's video. So I am not sure that I have ever said in any of my videos that a certain product has been a holy grail item or a miracle or any of those kinds of things. I There are definitely products that I like, but I have never seen a product make so much of a difference as this one has. So to start talking about this product, I have always had, through pretty much my entire life, really dry, cracked heels and feet. Um, I purchased this product not because I expected to be making a video on it. I purchased it just because I was looking for something to help out my dry feet. So normally in a sort of skincare video, I would show you a before picture because I want to show the kind of difference the product makes. I don't have a before photo for this because I didn't intend to be doing a video on this. So what I am going to do, and let me just tell you ahead of time so you're prepared for this, I'm going to show you a picture um, from the internet of what my feet looked like before. So just Take a look away if you don't want to see kind of dry, cracked feet. So even though I would moisturize my feet and I would use a pumice stone on them, although I probably wasn't as good about maintenance as I should have been, my feet were always really dry and they would get cracked to the point where it would be painful sometimes to walk on them. The only time my feet actually felt very good was after I got in a pedicure because they do all the, uh, I wanna say filing, that's not right, but they basically really like work on your feet and get rid of the dry skin. But I've only had like three to four pedicures in my entire life. And it was just annoying. Like it doesn't look very nice. It doesn't feel very nice, you know, putting on uh, tights or something like that, like my dry skin would catch on it. So this product uh, that I'm going to be talking about was one that was recommended by Dr. Dre on YouTube. And just before we get into talking about the product, what I am going to do in this video is tell you about the product, talk a little bit about the ingredients and the results that I saw, and then I'm going to show you what my feet look like now and also how I use the product. So I will put timestamps for all of that down below. So I'm not a usual watcher of Dr. Dre's content, and by Dr. Dre, I mean this Dr. Dre, just in case you didn't know. Uh, but I saw that she had a video on foot care, and because it's always been an issue for me, I decided to watch it. And she recommended this product. This is Carousel Intensive Foot Repair. Carousel has a number of different products, but specifically I'm going to be talking about this Intensive Foot Repair Cream. It says on here exactly what it does. It says loosens hard, dry skin to exfoliate and deeply moisturize and softens severely cracked heels and dry skin. It says visible results in one day. I don't know about that, but I have never had a product make such a difference for my feet. In researching why this made such a difference as opposed to like every other foot cream and moisturizer that I tried, it's really because this is an intensive moisturizing but also intensive chemical exfoliant. Talking about the active ingredients in the product, the very first ingredient is white petrolatum. And I feel like I'm saying that the wrong way, but it's basically petroleum jelly. And petroleum jelly, for the same reason that people will use it on their lips, it moisturizes but also locks in moisture. The next ingredient in the product is PEG-8, and that is an ingredient that not only works to bind moisture into the skin, but also helps other ingredients penetrate the skin. Next we have glycerin, and glycerin is something that is a humectant. It will work to bind moisture from the environment into your skin. But the ingredient that I think has the biggest impact here, because all those other ingredients are just moisturizing so far, is urea. And I understand that, that can sound a little bit scary because urea you know, the sound just makes you think of urine, but it is a really great chemical exfoliant. And it is also a naturally occurring moisturizing factor that is already found in our skin. I'm going to read this next part about urea because I wanna make sure I get this right. And just to mention the information that I found on these ingredients mostly comes from the Paula's Choice website, but the specific one comes from the McCowan Foot Clinic website. So urea has a number of things that it does. It's a humectant due to its ability to retain moisture by binding to water. So when urea is applied to the skin, it's able to penetrate into the stratum corneum to further enhance water absorption. Hence, urea improves the ability of skin to retain water while simultaneously balancing adequate hydration. So the previous ingredients were also great for hydration as is this ingredient. But I think the main thing that worked for my feet is that the exfoliation. 
So removal of dense skin cells in the stratum corneum will improve the water binding ability of the skin. At high concentrations, urea is a keratolytic and helps loosen scaly dead skin, allowing for exfoliation and improved cellular turnover. And for somebody who previously had very thick, scaly, cracked heels, I think this is the ingredient that has made the major difference. Urea is also an ingredient that provides protection by retaining moisture and enhancing the skin's renewal process. Urea helps to ultimately strengthen the stratum corneum barrier function to fight against trauma and containments. Routine use of a moisturizer to the skin is necessary to prevent the development of dry skin. And then finally, penetration. The benefits of urea to strengthen the skin's barrier has allowed it to be used in a variety of urea-containing creams and lotions for skin conditions, such as atoptic dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis, and cracked heels. Urea enhances skin penetration of topical medications, such as corticosteroids and antifungals, in order to treat scaling and inflammation of the skin. And then the next ingredient is salicylic acid, which is also a chemical exfoliant. Apart from this, the ingredients on the list are not necessarily active ingredients. They're things to keep it shelf stable, to keep the product uh, ingredients from going bad. But I think the real key here is where I had previously only been using moisturizing ingredients on my feet. Now I was using a very powerful chemical exfoliant plus moisturizing agents. I've been using this product on my feet after I shower in the morning. It means that there is some moisture in my skin already. I make sure that my feet are towel dried. I put a little bit on and then put on a pair of cotton socks. Uh, this was something that was mentioned by Dr. Dre. It helps both make sure that you're not getting the product all over the place, but also helps keep the product on your skin. And I've also heard that wearing cotton socks after moisturizing your feet or putting a product on, it helps to create a little bit of warmth on your skin, which also helps the product to penetrate. Now you could do this before bed, I just personally don't like wearing socks to bed, so I prefer doing it in the morning. Very importantly is to make sure you wash your hands after applying this product. Because it is a fairly powerful chemical exfoliant, you don't want to be touching like your more sensitive facial skin or maybe rubbing your eyes or something after having the product on your hands. Just make sure you wash your hands. So here we go with the footage of what my feet now look like. I discovered it's actually pretty hard to film my feet, <laughs> uh, but I wanted to show you what my heels and my feet look like now. It's not perfect. One of my heels is still a little bit dry, but there is no cracking. There is no noticeable dry skin. Everything feels really nice. It's only a little tiny bit of product I need to put on, probably about a pea-sized amount on each heel. I mostly rub it into my heel and then put a little bit on the ball of my foot because I do have some dry skin there. Uh, and then just pop my socks on and that's it. It's a uh, light gel feeling to it and it's not sticky or gloppy and the tube lasts forever. I've had this tube for about uh, eight or nine months now, and there's still probably about a quarter of the product left. Finally, I wanted to say that you don't need to continuously use this product. I will use it for about a week or two weeks if my feet are starting to get dry until they start to feel nice and not cracked and moisturized again. And then I'll switch over to using just a regular foot moisturizer until maybe they start to need a little bit of extra care. Uh, so while I don't find it has results in one day, it definitely has results in about a week. The final thing I wanted to mention is where to get this, especially for my Canadian viewers. I did get this off of Amazon. I haven't really been able to find it in store in like Shoppers Drug Mart or grocery stores, but this is about $20 online through Amazon.ca and for me it is more than worth it. So there we go. I never thought I would be doing a video on foot care, but I honestly have been so incredibly impressed with this product. I just wanted to share it with anybody else who may have the same issue that I do with their feet and with cracked heels because I went into it, I mean, I've tried so many moisturizers for my feet and nothing has made that big of a difference and I was just so delightfully happy with the difference that this has made that I don't have any foot pain or heel cracks 
at all since starting to use this product. So if you enjoyed this video, if this was helpful for you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel and maybe look through some of my videos and find what I do here interesting, please consider subscribing. Uh, thank you so much, you guys. I look forward to seeing you in my next video and just have a wonderful day. Bye.